I did a little bit of digging on Aduro, all the way to the documents when Aduro was called uh, Dimension 5 Technologies. We know right now, from public knowledge, that they are working with three entities. Shell, for the Game Changer program, Prospera, which is a small oil and gas company, and then there is another major oil company from Canada on the bitumen side that we don't know the name of, but they're working with. So I wanted to do some digging to see if I can get any information on that oil company that they're working with that we don't know the name of. So I went to this document listing agreement it was dated april 27 2021 and as you can see it says aduro clean technologies formerly known as dimension 5 technologies and uh this is 200 page document i went to page 30 and here on page 30 they talk about Current contracts with customers. Aduro Energy has an existing cost customer to which it is providing experimental data on bitumen upgrading in exchange for 126000 payable over the achievement of five milestones. And I confirm that this customer is the same customer that we don't know the name of. So there is five milestones. And I think it's important because on Shell, we know there's six phases. And as recently, they gave us an update that they completed one, two, three. They're working on four. This one has five milestones. Milestone no one, number one, it's 40%. Upon execution of agreement by both parties, milestone number two, it is 30% upon Aduro completing ordering the equipment for retrofit the Aduro hydrochemolytic bitumen upgrading. Milestone number three, upon Aduro completing retrofitting and commissioning of the Aduro HBU unit, right? B for bitumen, that's 10%. And then, then we have milestone number four, milestone number five. If we go here, as of February 26, 2021, Aduro has completed milestone number three and has invoiced the customer for the payment due upon such completion. Aduro is currently working on completion of milestones four and five. So... And this is still going on, and I confirmed this. So if you look at milestone 3, uh, 2, and 1, so that's 40% plus 30%, that's 70%. Milestone number 3, that's 10%. 80%. They're 80% done. Now, this is 2021. Why haven't they finished? I mean, we're talking about 20% left, why, why aren't they done? Well, because upon, com upon Aduro completing test runs and samples of shift of upgraded Groot, it requires R2. And we know that R2 for plastic has been done, commissioned, and it's working. This is for bitumen. R2 for bitumen is not completed yet, so they can't finish milestone number four upon aduro completing delivery of final report what well, they can't complete this until r2 for bitumen is done which is at the end of this quarter which is within the next 10 days right so that i think that's very important because why well if this is one of the big oil companies i don't know which one but there's not that many Here's a list from Investopedia of 10 biggest Canadian oil gas companies. We have, number one, Sonovas Energy, 
Suncor Energy, Imperial Oil, Enbridge, Canadian Natural Resources, Parkland Corporation, TC Energy Corp, Pembina Pipeline Corp, Gibson Energy, ARC Resources. It's one of them, okay? It's one of them. And if you look at these companies, revenues and net income, revenue for Sonovas, over $70 billion. Market cap, almost $50 billion. And I'm not seeing where the stock is trading right now, but uh, Suncor Energy, $56 billion market cap, revenue of about $60 billion. Imperial, revenue, $55 billion. Market cap, almost $40 billion. Enbridge, over $50 billion of revenues. Market cap, over $100 billion. Canadian Resources, still about $50 billion of revenue, market cap, $80 billion. These are seriously big companies. Parkland, that's close to $30 billion revenue. TC Energy, $14 billion. Pembina Pipeline, $11 billion. Yeah, you get my point? They are working with one of these big guys, and now they are 80% done. 80% done. And what do you think is going to happen when one of these guys gets a solution for bitumen? Do you think the other ones are going to be like, oh, no. Like, all of these companies are like a mafia. They're, they're working together. They know each other. When one has a solution for something, the other one is going to find out. If you don't know about what I'm talking about, bitumen upgrading, go to the playlist on my YouTube channel, and this is the video. Heavy, uh, Aduro Heavy Oil Upgrading Solution. I spent almost 30 minutes describing this, okay? This is, I think, very important. Educate yourself. So I got this from this document, right? So Milestone 1, 2, and 3 are done. And then milestone four and five are not, and they cannot be done until R2 for bitumen is finished, which is probably within the next 10 days. Now, based on this, it doesn't appear to me that they would be generating any revenue from this company, right? And in my prior video, I said by reading the uh, the financials, that they are generating revenue for testing from this company. But I was wrong because I misread one letter. In the financials, it says the revenues of 51110 for the three months and year ended respectively related to revenue earned following the completion of services pursuant to a collaboration agreement with a confidential publicly traded organization for the execution of a proof of concept and evaluation of the company's HPU technology. HPU is plastic. HB, like boy, that's oil upgrading. So I thought that this revenue or part of this revenue was generated from that oil company. But it's not. It's, it's generated from on the plastic side. So who is this from? Any guesses? Who is this from? Confidential publicly traded organization. Right? They couldn't have generated revenues from the oil upgrading company because they need, they already finished milestone number three. And between milestone three and four, they can't get any further until the R2 is finished. So after the next 10 days, they'll be able to return to milestone number four and number five and finish the last 20%. And I'm not too, you know, too 
interested or too hyped up about the revenue that it will generate from finishing the milestone uh, four and five, I am interested in, you know, if they're continuing it, that means the company was, uh, was satisfied with the first three milestones. And if the second two milestones or the last 20% is successful, then there is a very high likelihood that this technology will be adopted. And if it gets adopted, it's going to be adopted by one of these guys and it's going to be adopted by all of them. If you don't understand, watch this video. Watch this video, Aduro Heavy Oil Upgrading Solution, to understand the problem and you will understand the solution. So anyway, that's it for my little digging.